What's up everyone, it's Nick. Welcome back for another build video. Last week you saw this mahogany bed frame get built. I'm about ready to deliver it, but the client requested one more thing. They've got a five pound Maltese puppy that needs help getting on the bed and they wanted to see if I could build a staircase that matched the frame. So I've never done like dog stairs or a step stool or anything. I'm not really sure where I'm going, so I thought it'd be fun if you join me for the design, kind of the process, the journey as I go. I'm just gonna be doing this one on the fly, and uh, basically what I'm starting with is I know I wanna incorporate this triangular shape of the headboard and footboard from the frame into the steps. So I think first thing, let's get it on paper and we'll uh, see what we come up with from there. So the frame itself is made from African mahogany, which is a little bit softer stairs. Stairs are going to see some claws, some abuse, so I got some sapili. It's about as hard as white oak, whereas African mahogany is something closer to cherry. So I'm going to use that for the stairs. It looks very similar. Same ribboning, similar color, and uh, use that for the material. So let's do it. I was running just a little bit low on material, so instead of cutting each piece out individually, uh, thus producing a bunch of waste, I'm using a template to mark out the general shape and I'll do all the rough dimensioning on the bandsaw. All the parts are roughed out, and it's time to even them up. Once everything's congruent, looking the same, we can put a little finer point on those angles and hone in on all the little fitment to make sure those miters go together well. Now, admittedly, there are some very cool ways to join these together. Probably the sturdiest is going to be a bridle, but this is for a five pound dog, and I think that a spline and some loose tendons or dominoes are gonna do the trick. I kind of wanted, I set out to make this an approachable design, so if you wanted to try it at home, it would be something easily done. Uh, dowling works as well. Uh, lots of ways to skin the proverbial cat. So designing on the fly, often there are things that I don't think of along the way. Uh, so bonus points, if you drop a comment below with what's wrong with that picture right there. Uh, it took me till after this to realize it and fix it. So one of the things that people commented on the most about the mahogany bed frame was the contrast in the headboard and footboard panels. And so I'm really looking forward to seeing how that incorporates into the step. And I guess we'll see at the end of the video, uh, but I think it's going to be pretty cool. And while you're down in the comments, if you like the video, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. It really helps me a lot as I grow this channel and produce more videos. And I truly appreciate the support. And let me know if you are feeling this simpler project vibe or you want me to keep it to the crazy complicated stuff
So these are the support sections that set under each step. There's two per step and something about them being square. I thought it might be cool if they were asymmetrical, but as you look on the two dimensions or three dimensions, looking back, the front one and the back one fill one another out to create a full rectangle. If that doesn't make sense. Stay tuned, it will, I promise. And doing a little dry fit here. We'll tear everything down, get it finished. The uh, French polish on this I thought was especially satisfying. Love to hear if you think the same. And here we're using that same ebonizing solution of iron acetate made from steel wool and vinegar to react with the tannins in the sapili, turning them black. And this is where that contrast is gonna come in. And the end result is so sweet. doesn't make you all warm and tingly inside, you might be broken. And just like the bed frame, this will get a round over quarter inch on the inside and a chamfer on the outside. And after the seal coat of shellac is brushed on with a foam brush, I will sand that with 400 grit sandpaper. And then I take this rubber, which is just soft cotton wrapped in more cotton and take this two pound, reduced down to one pound cut of shellac. And it's made from platina flakes. If you don't know, shellac is a all natural finish and it is produced from the secretions of the female lac bug. It produces so much depth and chatoyancy in wood. It's just not super durable to water. And I didn't feel like it was appropriate to ask the moisture content in around their bed. So I'm just assuming that it's not gonna be an issue. <laughs> so, that's why I use the finish and you will see in the final pictures at the very end, I've got some studio shots of how that grain just looks like it's on fire, it really comes alive. All right, home stretch. Getting the final assembly together and I use my Iwata LPH80 on a one horsepower compressor to spray a super light, like half pound cut of shellac as a top coat. And I found that just gives a very lustrous matte sheen without having to go through a lot of extra rubbing out. Let me know in the comments what you think about the asymmetry, the contrast, the mid-century design. If you like it, dislike it. I'm looking forward to reading the feedback. And don't forget to subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one. Thanks.